Hi everyone, we're gonna talk about holiday books. If your kids are like mine, they're already making a list. And so there's so many wonderful Osborne books about the holidays. Starting with Winter Wonderland Sound Book. On the back is a little on and off switch, thank you for that. Um, and on each page, there are things to touch and feel, words to read, stories, music. When Lisey saw this book, she just smiled so big. It's, it's just adorable. I posted a video, it, video of her on her VIP page, and it's just so cute because she's just like, I love it. It's so beautiful. So there is something to get your kid excited about Christmas. Then we have Nibbles Christmas, a board book. Here comes Christmas, let's get jolly. Nibbles is a book monster. Oh no, he's out of his cage. And it goes through a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh Nibbles, stop, if you chomp it, it will pop. Christmas Day is coming soon. And at the end, one big box, is that for me? What's inside? It's a book. It's from Nibbles. Oh no, where is he going? Could it be he's off to hide beneath your tree? And there's a little stuffed animal uh, for Nibbles too that you can get for cute little stocking stuffers. Then we have Santa's post. And this is a story that has a lot of lift of flaps. There is a letter. Oh no, it got burnt. It's from Amy. Um, and um, Santa doesn't know. What does she want for Christmas? So he goes on a mission to find out. He asks the elves. They send him a letter. Maybe Amy wants coal. That's not right. Maybe that's all I deserve for Christmas. Then Santa asks the polar bear. And he sends him a letter with a giant scarf. Let's ask the reindeer. There they all are. What did they send? A carrot? What's going on here? And by the end of the book, Santa still doesn't know what Amy wants for Christmas, but he has an idea that he can use all the things that everyone sent him, and he makes Amy exactly what she wanted for Christmas. I just wanted to say a big thank you for all the snow I asked for and my wonderful snowman friend. Such a cute book. Now we have some wonderful like stocking stuff for activity, fun, um, hands-on things that I want to show you that um, I think Lisey loves them. I think a lot of kids would. They're th like Christmas, this is the Christmas puzzle pad. So I'm just going to see if I can show you some pictures first. There are lots of little activities like crosswords. Look at the other side of the page to see how to do this puzzle. So then you, it'll show you um, like for this. Oh, I ripped out the page. So I was like, where was it? Um, so there's a lot of fun things like this. Draw a circle around the owl that doesn't have an identical twin. So I like to rip one out. I put it like on the table um, with a few other like fun activities for her to do because I'm trying, you know, less screen time, less TV time, more reading and activity and art time. So that's the Christmas puzzle pad. And this is the Christmas activity book with lots of stickers. And the stickers are in the back and you would put them on the pages. The, the reading is much simpler um, in the activity books. Um, <laughs> this one's Santa's vacation with Mrs. Claus at the beach. So which sandcastle doesn't match? Which sandals made these footprints? It asks you, there's the stickers. They weren't in the back, I apologize. But um, 
there's a lot of like fun mazes and activities to do great little stocking stuffer or to help your kiddo get excited for Christmas this Christmas activity book is a little bit um, a little more reading so if your child is a little bit older this one is gonna have a little bit uh, higher reading level but it is still really super cute so you have the Nutcracker Christmas, there's coloring mazes, problems, puzzles to solve, um, Santa's house, can you find all of these items? So it's a really cute, fun way to get your kid into the Christmas spirit. It's a great little stocking stuffer. Now we have Christmas sticker books again. One fun thing to do is to get excited for Christmas, and it's going to be a long six weeks um, <laughs> before it comes. So let's give our kids something fun to do. So here, like I like to rip out the page and then I just stick it on like in the book and I close it like that and I just put it on the table for her to do. And then she read, Lisey will read like this little blurb it says high in the mountains animals whiz and whoosh down the glistening slopes add more animals so she this is great like stickers are great for dexterity hand and eye coordination um just being creative and fun and they're so beautiful and sparkly so that is the little sparkly sticker book and then we have a lot of little sticker dolly dressing books. This one's called The Snow Princess. And again, I just like to take out the stickers from the back. And there's the little story about an ice palace. And then you take off the dress and put it on your dolly. And this... Um, has a lot of dollies to dress for winter. Then we have another one, another sticker dolly. This one's Christmas. And this one is called the Little Stickers Christmas. So a little bit better for younger. They're very simple like snowy saturday put the stickers on the page and decorate and be creative and get in the spirit here we have the winter wonderland sticker book let me see if i can show you some of those stickers and the ice palace ball so lots of sparkles and fun to decorate. And we have the big sticker dolly dressing winter wonderland. Same concept, but like it a little bit more detailed, like more outfits. If your girl's like um, lots of sparkle, lots of um, fashion and, and just fun for all winter themed. So that's this one. And then we have magic painting. We love magic painting. It's so relaxing. And again, it's just a good hand and eye uh, coordinated uh, activity. And it really helps with just dexterity and patience. So there is a, a lot of this. They're black and white. And you have this page on the back that you, it's cardboard. So what you can do is either cut that off and then just rip out easy tear sheet, put it on the table with the little water and the brush that comes with the book and all the colors magically appear. And then baby books we have so many cute ones there's in the, that's not my reindeer here's that's not my narwhal another great like idea for just like saint nick's day that's not my narwhal his tail is too rough so i hope you enjoyed
seeing some holiday books. I know your kids would love them. Let's talk about history books. My son's in college studying to be a history professor. He's always loved history. And 23 years ago, we started our Usborne book collection and we have tons of history books. And Usborne is still making great history books. This one's called 100 Things to Know About History. It's like an infographic type style book where it has just like fun facts. The world's most valuable dye was made from rotten sea snails. Phoenicians began making the dye around 1500 BC. So lots of just fun, interesting facts. The latest dark age, Victorian wallpaper, killer exams. So these are fun. They also have um, this 100 things to know about series has, I want to make sure I, yep. So there's oceans, planets, not a planets, space, uh, science, numbers, computer, coding the planet, Earth, saving the planet. So lots of fun books like that. This one's called A Short History of the World. This is a really interesting book um, because it breaks like history down into short little blurbs. Again, European society talks about what serfs peasants are. You also have Edo, Japan, um, the Mongol Empire, the Jazz Age. Lots of fun but small um, pieces of information that are easily digestible and readable. We have the big encyclopedia of world history with internet links. And if you don't know, um, Usborne Books, a lot of their books have internet links. And it describes it at the beginning. On certain pages, you'll see it says quick links. And they will give you access online in a safe way um, to download pictures, watch videos, examine satellite images. So these are wonderful. Even Abe read um, an encyclopedia, one page or one section a day for a year. And it was great. He taught me so much. This is another great resource book for middle schoolers, high schoolers, college students, um, the world wars. It has great, great graphics, pictures, illustrations, giving all the details. Um, it's just a, one of my favorites, the world wars, the so world war one and two in this book. So then we have some illustrated stories. It's another one of my favorites. Uh, it's great. The Odyssey. It breaks down the story into a, a, a little bit younger um, reading age so that it's more easily understandable, but then they give you the graphics and the pictures. The same for Norse myths. Your kid's into the Viking Age. It also comes with this little bookmark. Lots of beautiful illustrations. The Understanding series, Understanding Philosophy. There's also Understanding Business, Money, Economics, pol Politics and Government, The Climate Crisis. And again, very visually appealing, that infographic style where it gives the information in these shorter, broken down, easily to understand ways. What about equality of opportunity? What about equality of well-being? It's philosophy. This is a really good resource book to have. I have found out since um, we were teaching my son um, about Shakespeare, we were, we were learning about um, English lit and there were a lot of like questions he didn't know about religion at the time and in, in, um, in Europe. And well, we can find out what is it? What are the symbols? What are the beliefs? What do people think? 
And this is a great resource guide for those questions. We have a graphic novel. We have lots of graphic novels and middle school kids seem to fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, they love graphic novels. This one's Macbeth. And um, there's also Robin Hood, Dracula, lots of great pictures with that comic book style. And last, the World of Shakespeare reference book. Another great book for your, your child who's studying and reading about this age in history and learning about literis, uh, literature. It tells you all about the globe, where the theater that Shakespeare had, the problems he had in his plays, the poetry. It's, and it's beautiful in those small blurbs of information. So there you go. I wanna show you some great books about mindfulness, feelings, mental health, growth mindset, from little toddlers all the way up to adults. What if I know my feelings, the feeling monster? Board book, talking about what if I feel sad? I can find someone to talk to. What if I feel shy? I can watch until I'm ready to join in. Great discussions. There's a whole series of the what if monster. Sometimes we just need a break. I need to calm down. And it's good. Have a board book like the calming music book. Just to sit down, collect yourself, look at some pretty pictures, listen to some beautiful music. On and off switch. Big words for little people. Helping kids learn how to express their thoughts and their feelings doing your best, aiming high, building. It's worth spending time to build your plans, hopes, and dreams. Good advice for all of us. This series is called the Lift and Flap First Questions and Answers. How can I be kind? Can I be kind to myself? Yes. And it's important that you are. It helps you stay healthy and happy. Lots of flaps. Now we have some great activity books. This one is Lisey's, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show you a little bit, because you didn't finish it, but um, kind of protect your privacy. But we would work on like one or two pages and talk about her feelings. I learned so much about how her mind works, what she worries about. And we were able to talk through it. So this, these are an activity book. There's about six in the series. Stay positive, be happy, no worries, letting go. An activity book for young people who sometimes feel scared or afraid. Anxiety, stress. Little activities and thought uh, provoking kind of questions to help you journal. Yoga animals. Follow Bear as she learns 13 easy yoga poses with help of her woodland friends. There's that calmness, mindfulness again, taking time to take care of yourself. And it tells you a story and shows you how to do the yoga poses. These are, I think these are great for teens as well as middle school and adults. Um, unworry. We have the Unworry series, the Doodle Book. Doodle yourself calm. And then this one is a really cute, um, comes with this little bookmark. It's tight, a kind of activity journal that teaches you about mindfulness in your thoughts, your moods, and then helps you get, like do the activity, kind of prompting you, wonderful words, and an unworry unworry magic oh there's mine I painted that one um me and one day I was stressed and Lisey said do you want to paint with me mom and I was like yes and I felt much better afterwards so unworry and
unhurry. Mindfulness matters. Story time with our sweet babies isn't just good for their development. It also creates like the best moments ever. We have so many cute baby board books like this one. Little Lift and Look Garden. There's a whole bunch in this series where it follows a mouse through the garden. With lots of beautiful illustrations and lift the flaps. Riverside Friends. There's also Woodland Friends and others in this series. The Colorful Fish Leave a Bubbly Trail. Splish, splash. Lots of beautiful, I think they're so pretty. Beautiful illustrations. Then we have some great engaging books. This one's called Don't Tickle the Tiger. With the fluffy fur to feel. Big bright colors and illustrations. Don't tickle the tiger, you might make him roar. Or the toucan. Isn't that cute? This one's Lights and Sounds Unicorns. It's got a little bit of magic in it. it goes through a story about magical creatures, including phoenixes and unicorns and dragons with sounds and lights. Magical. Very first questions and answers. What is the moon, Mom? Let's find out. What is the moon made of? It's made of rock. What makes it shine? The sun. Lots of cute little lift the flaps with easy to understand answers to lots of questions kids have. There's a bunch in this series, very first questions and answers, lift the flaps. And here's a fun book called Little Bear Needs Glasses. I bought this because Lisi has an eye doctor appointment next week and she might need glasses. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about it. These are really cute because these are re-stickable and you can play along with the book. Maybe Bear could try on dog's glasses. And there's all different ones to try on. And it goes through the story of Bear needing glasses. So those are some fun baby and toddler books. Helping our children learn about the subjects that they're interested in can be really fun with Osborne books. These are our look inside books. And on the back, it also shows you the Usborne Quick Links where you can go online to find out more. There's activities and videos that just help expand with learning. This is a book mostly about animal habitats, where they live in the world. Lots of flaps to open and facts to learn. Bug homes, Arctic homes, desert homes. There's a whole bunch in the series. Here's another one about looking inside our world. Lift the flap questions and answer books. Weather, dinosaurs, whatever your kid's interested in, we have a book for it. These are great books that deal with comprehension. Those WH questions, who, what, where, when, why, we got your answers. What were dinosaur teeth like? <laughs> they were as long as a banana. Shine the light books. These are so fun and engaging. When you use a flashlight or your phone, let's see if I can hold it up for you. You read this story and then there's like a little hidden surprise. These catkins are the seeds of a birch tree. Who is eating them? And then you can see the secret. Shine the light. And then there's facts on the back. 
of that page to help with the story. There's a lot of wonderful Shine the Light books, including a new one we just came out with, Oceans. The big book. You like sea creatures, oceans, weather, dinosaurs, construction, trains. We have a book for it. A book for your kiddo. These are great big books because watch this. Look how big that folds out. Full of facts and fun, engaging, lay on the floor, big fold out book. We also have lots of magic painting books about all subjects that your kid could be interested in. Dinosaurs, famous paintings, if your girls like unicorns and mermaids and dragons, just type that into the search box. Unicorns. A lot will come up. Now I want to show you a little bit of how I do things with Lisi. I like to buy themes. So what we're doing right now is a forest theme for November. And we're going to be using the Look Inside the Woods book to show you how beautiful and engaging, full of facts. Many trees lose their leaves in winter to save energy before they grow again this spring. So the theme, woodland sounds. So we have, again, finger trails, little cutouts, sounds that go along with the theme of fall in the forest. Woodland magic painting book. Beautiful pictures that the colors magically appear when you use the brush that comes with it. I had to get this book. I just bought it, but um, I still have Abe's copy from oh, 12 years ago was his favorite book. This is a really fun book. It's called A Squirrel's Tale. There's also a mouse about the house. His favorite book ever. Just slip me through, slip me through the slot. So as the story goes on, you, I'm gonna hold it like this so you guys can see it better. As you start with slipping the squirrel, this is great hand and eye coordination, fine motor skills. And as you're reading the story, he's looking for his nuts. And you follow this little dot to dot, and then he slips right through the slot onto the next page. And that's how the story continues. Hello, Mrs. Blackbird, have you seen my nuts? And then he goes up through that hole and talks to Mr. Owl. So much fun. And if you happen to lose your squirrel, you can always make a new one. And then we have woodland puzzles. They come with three puzzles with nine pieces each. Those are the ones on the back. And in this box is a woodland book, a full story. Story time books. We have so many wonderful story time books that are fun and engaging, beautiful pictures. This is a great story about a boy and his dad kind of creating a story together. Once upon a time, said dad, there lived a valiant prince. And then Jamie asked, well, how far off did he live? What? And as they go through the story, they kind of tell it together. And it can be an inspiration for you and your kid to come up with your own story. There's another one in this series called The Tale of the Valiant Ninja Frog. Nibbles, told you a little bit about him, but he's the book monster. And this, there's the dinosaur hunt. There's a lot of Nibble books that are for board books and story books. And the little boy chases Nibbles all throughout the book. And what's great about Nibbles books is they're actually books within a book. As you can see, he nibbles his, his way through the book. And here he nibbles his way into the world of color book 
and there's more colors and more pages. Lisey loves nibbles. The Curious Case of the miss Missing Mammoth. Timothy has to help find the baby mammoth that ran into the museum. So many beautiful graphics and illustrations, flaps and an adventure to find the missing mammoth. I hope you saw some books that your kids would love. Drop your favorites in the comments.